Hi, I'm Thronder. In this second module of the 4x4 Offroad Spires Guide, you will find ways to select your 4x4 or SUV. Here is a simple system for categorizing the different types available on the market. 4x4 Car 4x4 Light 4x4 Modified 4x4 and an Extreme 4x4. Your selection should of course be based on your real needs, but also and no less on your dreams. How many passengers will be with you? Where will you travel? Will your family fit into it? Unfortunately, talking with many four-wheelers is not helpful. They tend to fall in love with a certain brand and tell you everything else is crap. Remember to take all advice with a grain of salt. Try to read between the lines. All brands have their weak as well as strong points. The best engine for a 4x4 has lots of torque and is strong and durable. Simple design would also mean that it is easy to fix and is therefore an advantage. Not every trip requires a real 4x4. If you can do with a 4x4 car, consider that an option. Otherwise, you should select a 4x4 with high and low gears to make future modifications easier. Unfortunately, newer 4x4s are often equipped with weak drivelines. They may work okay for easy trips, but will break under heavy use. Changing these parts can be done, but it is less expensive if it's already in the 4x4 you choose. Take a moment to inspect the underside of the vehicle. A weak driveline is usually quite obvious. Compare it to the driveline of an ordinary family car. If it is similar in construction and thickness of parts, it's likely too weak. If you have any dreams of future modifications, remember, a 4x4 that is simple to modify is more economical in the long run. In extreme modification projects, this will, however, matter less. All pickup trucks and many SUVs are built on a frame. Unibody designed vehicles like the Grand Cherokee limit your choice of modification. Two doors are enough if you travel alone or with a co-driver, otherwise I would recommend you go with four or more doors to ensure safe access for all passengers. Consider both the initial investment as well as the cost of running the 4x4 which includes the fuel it will use as well as the cost of spare parts, repairs and taxes. The design of most manufactured 4x4s today is a compromise between highway driving, comfort and off-road capabilities. Many brands are making 4x4s with independent front suspension as the norm. This makes for a better highway handling but is often a weakness for off-road because it tends to mean less articulation. A pickup is a pretty basic design. It's built to carry heavy stuff and take it to some nasty places. As the, as the load can vary, it often has leaf springs at the rear. I am no fan of leaves, but a pickup is a good choice for modifications, especially if you want to keep your wallet safe. SUVs are made to carry people and do it in some level of comfort. The traditional Jeep has a short wheelbase. Being short and lightweight means that it is easy to take to places that are narrow, and a Jeep is not easily high-centered. Unfortunately, the suspension works against the short wheelbase in high-speed off-roading, making the vehicle unstable and, when taking on even small obstacles, results in a bad rhythm for driving. As the wheelbase gets longer, the ride will be better for the suspension. To prevent becoming high-centered, you may have to consider larger tires as well as some lift. This is a matter of much debate among four-wheelers. I tend to lean towards the longer wheelbase vehicles. Generally speaking, it's best to have a light 4x4. It will require smaller tires and consume less fuel. The major drawback comes when crossing deep rivers where the danger of floating is higher. Too heavy and nobody is going to be able to pull you out of a stock, except for a bulldozer. Another problem with heavy vehicles is the fact that wheel size needs to increase more than you might think. The tire size will actually need to grow squared to achieve the same character of grip, traction and flotation. All your passengers should have a safe and comfortable ride. Getting everybody out of the vehicle when you are stuck in the middle of a river is your responsibility. Therefore, enough doors are more than just a luxury. Having a seat belt for everyone is highly recommended and a legal requirement in most countries. Cushy is a word that many four-wheelers hate. However, for longer trips, it's just so much easier to keep everybody happy if they're comfortable. Think about your kids and how irritated they may get. Next video, evaluate 4x4 trucks and SUVs.